Dear students, today we will discuss about few important terms used in medicinal chemistry. Chemotherapy, we have seen in our previous class when we, when we were discussing about the classification of drugs, we came to know about the chemotherapeutic drugs. So now what is this chemotherapy means? Chemotherapy deals with the effects of the drugs upon the microorganisms and parasites living and multiplying in a living organism means this is the science which deals with the infectious diseases. Next term is pharmacokinetics. It is used to describe the study of absorption, distribution, metabolism and excretion of drug from our body and their relationship to the pharmacological response or in short we can say that it is what the body does to the drug. We all know that we take the drug inside. We don't know what is happening to that. We all know that it produces its pharmacological action. But before that, it has to be absorbed. There are many drugs which are fat soluble and water soluble. So it has to be absorbed in the body. It has to be distributed to the place where it is required to go and produce its pharmacological activity. After the distribution, after the pharmacological action, it has to be metabolized into the metabolites. These metabolites after metabolism has to be excreted from the body. So as a whole, these four processes are coming under pharmacokinetics or we are learning about the kinetics of the drug. Next term in medicinal chemistry is pharmacodynamics. It deals with the quantitative study of the biological and therapeutic effects of the drug on the body or what the drug does to the body. This elucidates the mechanism of action of a drug and correlates the drug action with its chemical structure. So, we have seen the pharmacokinetics is the what the body does to the drug. Pharmacodynamics is the what the drug does to the body. What for we are taking the drug? We are taking the drug when we are having some diseases. So, the drug is taken to kill the antigens which has entered from the outside. So, it, it means it has to produce some pharmacological action. So, this pharmacological action of the drug is studied under the term called pharmacodynamics. Now, let us move on to the metabolites and anti-metabolites. We know the metabolites are the substances which take part in the cellular metabolic reactions. These are very important for metabolic functions in our body. So, a chemical reagent which blocks the metabolism due to its close structural similarity to the metabolite is known as anti-metabolite. Now tell me whether the metab anti-metabolite is good or bad for the body. It is not good. See why is that? It blocks the metabolite's action in the body. How does it do? It acts either by preventing combination of the metabolite with the specific enzyme or itself it combines with the enzyme so that it avoids the metabolite do to do its action. See we have seen uh, some side effects of the drugs or we have learnt lot many side effects of the drug. This is one of the side effect of the drug I can say because the drugs which we take for some other diseases can act as anti-metabolite means it will hamper the action of metabolites by combining either directly with the enzyme or preventing the metabolites combination with the enzyme. So example is sulfonamide drugs. We all know that sulfonamide drugs are not very good for our body. Act as anti-metabolites since they are structural analogous to the paraminobenzoic acid which is an SM paraminobenzoic acid which is an essential metabolite for the folic acid. Now folic acid is a important uh, vitamin which is required for our body and paraminobenzoic acid is an essential metabolite for folic acid. Now just imagine the uh, sulfonamide drug whatever we have taken is acting as an anti-metabolite and hampering the function of the folic acid what will be this effect on the body. So 
this is what we call it as side effect we have spoken that characteristics of some ideal drugs that it should not hamper or it should not damage or it should not have any side effect to the body but there is very rare medicines which are not having the side effect to the body one is that it is acting specific to the site where it is required to act along with that it will does so many parallel things like acting as the metabolite next term in medicine chemistry is pro drugs and analogs what are these pro drugs we know that we have drugs we have synthesized the pharma companies synthesize the drugs and bring it to the market but there may be so many problems related to its solubility or particle size or some patent issues so what does these pharma companies do is that they prepare the pro drug of the parent drug they synthesize the pro drug of the parent drug to improve its particle size solubility its pharmacological action so what is this pro what are these pro drugs pro drugs are structurally modified drugs which metabolize in the body to give the parent drug means we take the pro drug orally or by injection or whatever it is when it goes to our biological system it metabolizes or we call it as it hydrolyzes into the parent drug so when it, it when the absorption process takes place the parent drug gets into our body and the pro drug has been metabolized what are the analogs analogs are the derivatives of drug having similar structure to the parent drug but different action on the body we call these type of drugs as analogs of a company which is synthesizing or which is um, inventing a new drug may look into different analogs of these drugs so that a series of compounds maybe 100 analogs will be prepared and it will be subjected to clinical trial maybe four or five among them may give the positive results mean they means they have the pharmacological action now next move on to the drug receptors what are these drug receptors when we take a drug or a medicine into the body where does it go where uh, somebody has to receive that drug in our body it's like just for example a guest enters into your house somebody has to receive somebody has to give some reception to the drug so who is what are these drug receptors in our body drug molecules are like guests entering into our body so who will receive them these drug receptors drug receptors are the macromolecules present in the body like proteins enzymes nucleic acids on which the drug binds and produce the pharmacological action when the drug goes and sits on the drug receptor the receptor adopts some conformational changes to adjust to the drug molecule it's like when a guest comes to our house we adjust ourselves to the newcomers it is like that the drug molecule is a new comer to our body next generic drugs now many times we hear about generic drugs or gen aushad what are these generic drugs generic drugs is a drug molecule whose patent has been expired and can be marketed by other companies the inventor who invents a drug molecule will file a patent the patent is normally valid for 20 years and in some cases it will be extended for another 5 years once the patent expires in the market the all the other pharmaceutical companies can synthesize this molecule and market the drug in their trade name so these are the generic drugs which is open to market or open to people so these are the few important terms used in medicinal chemistry and the terms we use in our daily life thank you